you know the sayings, smooth as a baby's bottom. I mean, there is nothing like the gentleness and the beauty of a baby's newborn skin. That's why it's so heartbreaking when we see these eczema patches erupting. That's why I wanted to make this video. Hi, I'm Genevieve Holland, the woman behind MamaNatural.com, the number one natural pregnancy and parenting brand. If you have a new baby, I've got a great free email series for you that tracks baby's developmental milestones and delivers simple, natural tips to help you and baby thrive. Sign up at MamaNatural.com slash updates. First, what is baby eczema? This is an inflammatory condition that causes the skin to be red, itchy, and inflamed. It is one of the most common problems in babies, and there are several different types of eczema. The most common one is called atopic dermatitis, and it causes dry, scaly, and itchy patches on the baby's skin that often appear on the scalp, forehead, and face. Now, baby eczema doesn't look like adult eczema. While adults may notice eczema patches on their hands and feet and torso, newborns up to six months of age get eczema primarily on their faces. During the second half of baby's first year, then you'll start noticing it on other areas of their bodies, like their knees and elbows. Now, it's estimated that about 13% of children will have atopic dermatitis. And if you factor in different types of eczema, it can be as high as 20% of our kid population. What causes eczema in babies? Now, one of the biggest factors is actually genetics. If a baby has a relative diagnosed with eczema, the risks of them getting it is much higher. Also, you wanna look at environmental triggers that can cause flare-ups. Let's talk about some of the common triggers. First, irritants and things like soap and shampoo and even household cleaning products, air pollution or hot weather from the summer, pet dander, pollen or dust. Foods can also cause eczema. So if a baby's on solids, things like dairy can be a huge culprit or if mama is breastfeeding, she'll wanna actually eliminate dairy from her diet because sometimes just by doing that will take away the eczema. Other foods that can cause these types of irritations are wheat, gluten, eggs, soy, and corn. Babies can also inherit an imbalanced gut flora. We see this with babies that were administered antibiotics. Maybe mom was administered antibiotics during her birth, or maybe it was a C-section birth. So what you wanna do is start administering infant probiotics for your baby with your doctor's approval. An overactive immune response also can be possible. Now this can be due to stress, poor nutrition, not enough rest, or problems with enzyme production in the body. Does eczema in babies go away? Here's the good news. Most children will outgrow eczema. According to experts, most children will see a huge improvement by the age of three. About 66% of children will outgrow it. In the meantime, you'll wanna look into ways to treat it naturally. One, you can apply coconut oil. This is a super hydrating oil and it has antibacterial properties to boot. And it's a very popular choice for babies with eczema. You also can try out vitamin B12. Yes, there was this randomized controlled study that revealed that vitamin B12 is actually a great treatment for kids with eczema. Another great option is calendula cream. This has been known to soothe many skin conditions, including baby eczema. In other news, did you know that fish intake in older babies helps to reduce eczema? So if your baby doesn't like fish, you can try cod liver oil. It's also beneficial because cod liver oil has vitamin D, which is great for the skin. You also can try oatmeal baths. They can be really soothing for eczema rashes. You can make your own oatmeal bath. Just Google Mama Natural Oatmeal Bath for my homemade recipe. Low levels of vitamin D has also been associated with eczema. So if you live in a place that doesn't get enough sunshine, you might wanna consider supplementation. Now, if you're nursing, you can take vitamin D yourself. Magnesium creams were also shown to help. Now there's a special magnesium lotion that's made just for babies and kids. I'll have a link to that in the video description below. Can you prevent baby eczema? So while there's no guarantee that you can 100% cure baby eczema because there is a genetic factor, you can do all those things I mentioned. Clean up your environment, clean up your baby's diet, clean up your diet if you're nursing, and then supplementing with some special things like probiotics, vitamin D, and magnesium. These things can really help make a difference. But if you notice the patches spreading quickly or if they're bleeding or look irritated or infected, always reach out to your pediatrician for some extra help. 
There you have it, some natural remedies for eczema. I hope this video was helpful for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. And head on over to mamanatural.com slash updates and sign up for my free baby emails. Each week you'll get personalized message that tracks baby's development, plus you'll get natural evidence-based resources for you and baby. Finally, check out my baby care course at mamanaturalbaby.com. It features a holistic pediatrician, an IBCLC certified lactation consultant, and a community of new moms. Get all that info at mamanaturalbaby.com.